G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Subnautica with Mags. And welcome to everybody on the stream, already got 11 viewers up. How you all doing guys? Alright, so today as it says in the video title, I have decided we're going to go and get some upgrades for the prawn suit. However, uh, it's the energy pulse origin for the gun, we know where that is. Ah, oh, that's up permanently. Alright, can I turn that marker off? I want to turn that off. Uh, that one. I don't want to see that one. Cool. Uh, we won't need to see the Seamoth either, and we'll leave it at that. There's going to be a couple of things we're going to need, though. So, that's not what I was after. That is the debug thingy. Um, now, blueprints. To upgrade the sea, uh, upgrade the prawn suit, I need to build the vehicle modification station. To build the vehicle modification station, I need to build a moon pool. So I'm going to have to do an expansion on this base that I wasn't planning to. Problem is, I don't think, at the very least, that I have access to the plans for the vehicle modification station, which is what I'm just checking for now. Hey, and Gareth, thank you very much for the subscription. <laughs> Time to procrastinate. No, no procrastination today. I've got a fairly good idea of what I'm actually up to. I just need to double check to see what blueprints that I need. That's standard modification. I need particularly the vehicle modification station, which it's not looking like I have. Now, the last place I remember picking up the parts for these Redouble check up to the top just to make sure. And no, nothing. Okay, the last place I remember actually finding the plans for these was somewhere in the mushroom biome. So we're going to go that way. However, why are the lights to my seam off on? Welcome aboard, Oi. Captain. Turn those off. You're wasting power. We're going to take the prawn suit Welcome and get there. Aboard, Captain. Because then we don't have to worry about depth at all. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want... So it's going to take us a little bit longer than normal to get there, but the reason why I'm doing this is I want the grapple arm before we start going into the deep water. And I want access to the drill, because then I can start mining the resource nodes, which are... Well, it's not an option otherwise. Hmm. Yeah, this is another one of the vents that leads down to the the large central chamber that you'll find uh, in the end game. Um, yeah, this ocean's amazingly warm. 15 degrees Celsius and we're 173 meters down. Uh, isn't this where the desalination plant used to be as well? Uh, yes it is, but I haven't seen any parts for it here in a couple of patches, so hopefully we find that as well, because if we can, it would be fantastic. It's a... Uh, You know what? Yes, I'll grab that. Ah, oh, it's the other thing. You can pick things up with the prawn suit, and rather than going into your inventory, it actually goes into the storage bin in the back of the prawn suit, so you don't have to uh, carry everything. Um, but yes, if we can find the desalination plant, that would be fantastic as well, because honestly, I need a supply of fresh water and salt. One of the bridge fragments. Another egg. Uh, we'll just take the one for the moment, and we got another bridge fag fragment over here. There's two. A lot of Cyclops components over here. I think we've already got the Cyclops engine done, so it's just a matter of finding the... Um... That is a different egg. That is a very, very, very different egg. I don't think I've seen that egg before. Welcome I'm going to take that just because I have no idea what the hell it is. No more lithium. I think is done. Yes, moon pool is done. So I don't need the moon pool fragment. But this is good news because the moon pool and the vehicle modification station are sort of tied together. So 
Now, if I remember correctly, one of the real recent updates, the moon, uh, the vehicle modification station no longer just appears as a console sitting on the floor anymore. You've actually got to find uh, the memory banks and dig it out of those. Another one of those eggs. Now that'll be moon pool. Well, we can go have a look in this barren area before I head back up. Put a thruster glide down a little. Let's face it, we can handle the depth, that's not a problem. Uh, it sounds like one of those bone sharks is actually shot at us. And that is a thermal vent. Go away. I think they've done some animation work today just quietly. That looks a lot angrier than it used to. Burn ourselves up this way a little. This actually would be a really nice place to uh build a base with a thermal plant once I've got access to it. Ah, this is the, uh, the Kush zone, I think. Detects volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution while diving deeper. Oh, this is the Kush zone. I know what this is all about. Yeah, there they are. That bloody, those worm things are in this area. Yeah, I want to avoid those a bit, if possible. They're, um... I don't know what that is. Yeah, those things there, electrical worms. They, you get too close to them and, well, you can see, they electrocute things and they screw with the power in your, uh, in all of your ships. And one of those goddamn hypnotizing bloody things. We'd seem to get away for a split second. Uh, it's scanner room. All right, we don't need scanner room fragments. Don't want to stay outside of the ship for, uh, if at all, if we can avoid it. Yeah, I think we'll leave this area. There's not really a whole lot here that we're after. Oh, but these are what we're after. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, they won't go out of their way to attack you, but just if you get close to them, that happens. Uh, lightweight, high-capacity tank. Not what we're after, but... That is what we're looking for. How the hell did I not see that? Uh, do they ever say if they're going to add a Cyclops dock to the base module? At this point, I believe the answer is no. Uh, at least between now and release. All the features have pretty much been selected at this point. But that's not to say that they won't add one after. It's just, uh, it's not on the short-term listings now. Because they're in the final process of, uh, well, getting ready to, buddy, get this bastard in everyone's hands in full release, so... Light stick fragment. Okay. Please don't zap me. I'm, I don't want to hurt you. I kind of like you. I'm watching you guys zap the bone sharks. I could watch you zap bone sharks all day. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. I want a whole bunch of users pets around my bases. Now, how the hell am I going to get inside here? I think those are bone shark eggs. Yeah, quite likely. I've never really collected bone shark eggs before, so I'm not sure what they look like. They're definitely ugly enough for them. 
I found the name of the serpent thing, the Reaper Leviathan. Now, oh uh, yeah, the Reaper Leviathans are, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we know the Reapers. I uh, do my best to avoid them, although I'm not too concerned about them in the, um, in the prawn suit. They have a bit of a tough time with the prawn suit, which is why I like getting in this thing. Yeah, I think the wreck's loading way too late is still an issue. Yeah, it could be. I, it could be just so it didn't look up as well. And that looks like we're at the base of... I think we're at the base of the thermal vent that I went under before. Well, actually, that would explain it, because I went underneath where I'm standing now. Alright, so, at least for the moment, we're not going to be able to take this inside, obviously, so I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Nothing seems to be here. Let's have a look and see if we can find a way inside. Modification station fragment. I'll definitely take that. It's not what we are after, but I'm not going to turn it down. Water is always good. Although I've got a pretty good supply on board as it is. Another modification station fragment. Should probably double check in the moment. Do I have the re- yes, I've got the rebreather on. That is good. Stasis Rifle Fragment. I already have the Stasis Rifle, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, more Stasis Rifles. Seek fluid intake. Yes, I'll sort that out in a second, don't worry. Uh, basic Pot. Not really all that important, but New still nice equipped. to have. Acquired. And we got a hole that leads outside that way. Is there anything in here we can cut? Because this cannot be the only section of this wreck. Ah, uh, nope, we got a vent that goes that way. So we'll go back out, grab some air. Because at the moment, being nearly 200 this meters down. No, no. No, 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 piss off you hypnotizing bastard thingy, go away. God, I hate those things. That was not the computer talking, that was the, uh, the hypnotist, hypnotist fish thingy, it basically... If you keep looking at it, it will force you to continue looking at it until it comes in and tries to bite off your face. Now, I'm obviously blind. Yes, I am. Um, it's fun if you manage to get your Seamoth stuck in because it's spawned around you while travelling. Never had that happen, but I could see how it could. You should go fight the Reaper Leviathan. Um, once I've got the, uh, the grappling hook, I actually can. What you can do is you can shoot the hook into the Reaper Leviathan and do what is... Uh, jokingly known as the Reaper Rodeo, you will uh, hang on to the front of the Reaper and as it's swimming around it will carry the entire Seamot, uh, the entire prawn suit, and then you can, once you've uh, got in close enough, repetitively punch it in the face until it dies. It's actually the easiest way to scan the... Uh... It just occurs to me that it probably would have been a really good idea to actually have some kind of light. In fact, do we have something that I can use? Alright, let's uh, down some water. Uh, no we don't. Get rid of that. We got a light right there and I can't use it and I'm not carrying anything else. I really should have brought a torch or something. Oh, I can see myself getting lost in here and drowning. Amazingly, after going through all those tunnels, there doesn't appear to actually be anything in here that is worth having. No. Ah, but that there, that is worth having. 30 seconds. 
reinforced dive suit. How are we going to way out of here? Uh, yep, this is the part where we die, I think, guys. Shit. Yeah, I knew this was a bad idea. God, I can't even get out of this room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's over. Shit, shit, shit. Wait. Ah! I can see the way out. Crap. Right, 168, 200 maximum depth. Zappy things, please don't zappy me. Thank you for the bits. Um, and this room, this is the one we're after here. Okay, and down here on the floor, here's where all the... Well, apparently just an egg. Oh, of course, there hasn't been much stuff that I've actually picked up. All of the stuff that I've picked up went into the, um, into the prawn suit and not into my inventory, so I haven't got a lot to lose. The, uh, the way... I now I've got to find my way back out of this room again. That way. Um, the way the game's uh, death mechanic works is your bases are considered to be a hard save point. Yeah, that doesn't go anywhere, okay. Um, your base is considered to be a hard save point. When you die, anything you had on you when you were at the base location is saved. And that's perfectly fine, that's not a problem. But anything you pick up between the time you exit the base and die is what you lose. So you've got to, anytime you're carrying anything important, make sure you get to a base location to keep it safe, otherwise you're going to lose it. Welcome to all time, Jim. And it looks like something has kicked the crap out of my poor Seymour. I would say you. Up. So, oh god, it's down to 7%. It's, it's buggered. Uh, so scratch the idea of using it as a scout. We're going to park it near the surface and leave it here for the moment. And we'll use the sea glide to get back down to the prawn suit and... Oh. Change batteries. Cool. Use the sea glide to get down to the prawn suit and we'll come back and swim back and repair and pick up the seam off later. Uh, are the schematics saved automatically? Yes, I believe they are. Well, we can actually find out now. I'm back in my... Uh, right, that's not the one I'm after. I'm after that one. Sorry, getting used to the new keyboard. The key layout's slightly different. Uh, the keyboard's a little bit more compressed, so... Um, still not quite used to it yet. Um, what have we got here? We picked up a blueprint for a reinforced high-capacity... A reinforced dive suit, that's the one we picked up. So yes, the uh, the plans are automatically saved. <laughs> Hole in the left ballast. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's rendering or what. I haven't been able to find this thing anywhere. I don't want to cheat and look up a map. Oh, wait on. Uh, am I going to have enough? Yep. Alright. We'll see for a second. Jump up to the next one. Come on, 
get a little bit more power here. A little bit more. And touchdown. Okay. Climb into the top of the mushroom trees. Alright. That gets us to 67 meters and out of uh, far enough up that we shouldn't be bothered by the bone sharks. Ah, uh, wrong key. That one. Uh, markers. Let's turn the marker for the sea moth on. Where is she? There she is. 373 meters away. 372 meters away. Somewhere in that vicinity. That's fine. Let's go fix her first. Probably be an idea. She's pretty knackered. I think I know where the wreck is. And I think I know why I'm not finding it. But it'll be easier to locate if I have the seam off. Plus, I wouldn't mind getting the seam off out of here at the moment. It's over the top of the Kush zone, and I'm pretty sure there is a Reaper Leviathan that lives around here somewhere. So um, I would like to get the seam off out of here before it munches on it and I lose it completely. Hopefully this hasn't wrecked its Welcome power too much. We're 48, that's alright. Right, so let's get back into the depth here a bit. Headlights on. Right, so here's the mushroom biome. Now, I think... The wreck in the mushroom biome is actually sitting on top of some of these trees. Oh, we're getting some serious render problems this time. I know there's been another patch in between them. Whoa, that's some horrible popping. This is a wreck, but it's not the wreck we're after. But I wouldn't know to have a look. That led nowhere. Don't even think about it. Nothing at all. Alright. Get back to the seam off. Hang on. That. Fire reactor. Alright, so we've got one of the things that I wanted. Awesome. That's freezing up hard on my end. They've done something with the optimization on this latest patch. This is not running as well as it was. Well, that is yeah, that is the um, the buddy kelp zone. About 300 meters to where I left. That is a wreck. It's in the red grass plains. It's not far from the biome. It's not the one that I'm thinking of, but we'll take a look at it anyway. Ah, oh, buddy, spitty, bloody things. Stop spitting at me. Get out before they shoot me. A scanner room, more metal fragments. 
We're only 96 meters down. I can do a quick run to the surface once I've worked out how to get inside this one. And it'll be there. So you know what? We're just going to go straight inside anyway. Shelf. Near blueprint acquired. Um, eerie right here. That the door looks like it would almost be open. That one's sealed, so we need the laser cutter for that one. Thankfully, I have the laser cutter, so that's not a problem. Uh, picture frame. Near blueprint acquired. Right. Go back out the side here, quickly go over to the seam loft to grab some air. Back out again. We'll just check all the areas that we have access to prior to starting to cut the place apart. And nothing, that's just another entrance. That one is a door that is not actually going to give me the option for anything. Something. Light stick fragment. Uh, and that's only. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Alright. Yes, I want inventory. I want to set. We're not really using the knife, so I'm just going to put the laser cutter on three. thought I ditched the Seamoth. I sort of did, but then I had a small accident before, so I had to come back for the Seamoth, and uh, it's been kind of useful. I don't need the propulsion cannon fragment. Aha! These are what I'm after. Ah! Let me get close enough to get it. Stupid clipping issues? What the hell? Seek fluid intake. Well, that's interesting. The game apparently thinks there is a wall here, so I cannot actually activate these. Of course, you know that means that's going to be the one that's actually got the uh, modification station in it, right? Because that's just the way these things work. There it is there. Way to getting close enough from this side to be able to get to it, and not but you can clip through there, so oh, man, we got a shaft here. Bottom of the shaft's full. Bottom of the shaft leads into here. We got another one. Oh, what's in this one? Vehicle upgrade Vehicle console. Print. Excellent. Upgrade. That's what we're after. Grab the water while we're at it. And we'll Vital signs chug that down. Alright, at this point, I can get the hell out of here pretty much any time I want. I'm just double checking to make sure we're clear. Yep. Alright, so. Um, yes, this door, and then out. Right, we're going to have to do a little bit of dicking around here, because I do want all of my vehicles back together. So, where are we at? Which way's home? Yeah, it did tank performance a little bit. And that was the problem, because it was trying to remember all of the modifications plus everything else that was in the cells, and 
the loading times at the peak I ended up giving up that save not because the save broke via a patch which was pretty common at the time but because the loading times for that save were getting a bit to the obscene side you know my low if I was sitting in the central core section of my base the time to actually load in was like five and a half minutes on an SSD So, we'll park this one here. Beautiful. Prawn suit, seam off back. Alright, now we need some places to actually Welcome park these bloody things. And we need... Ah, sook, 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 sook. Fine. Vital signs. Stay ah, we didn't find the water purifier, so I'm actually going to have to go looking for food at some point. Hey Sophie, thank you very much for the subscription. Two, three, we'll just chug down on some of these because they give us a little bit of water and a little bit of food together. They're kind of crap, but they'll do the job in the short term and save me from having to actually go and um, make more bleach. Of course, I only hold two at once. Eat an entire tree. Standard survival trope. Gonna eat an entire tree's worth of fruit in order to fill yourself up. Uh, I hate to be this bloke and have to pay for the groceries at Australia's current prices. So, anyway. Fish, get back in the water outside of this room, please. Alright, so we're going to go with a bioreactor here, which I know I can build, and where is my... I don't have my building tool. Alright, well we'll stick a few things out of my inventory for a start. Uh, we'll get rid of all of this. Um, I'll leave the power cell on me, that might be useful. We'll get rid of the dead battery. Alright, now, where did I leave my building tool? Uh, nope. There. Um, we'll put that on two. We'll put the gravity gun there, because I won't actually need that. Yes, I'll continue calling it the gravity gun, because that's what it is. I don't care what they called it. It is straight up a ripoff of Half-Life. I don't have any complaints about that, by the way. It's just what it is. Alright, so let's start off with... Right, the moon pool. We want two titanium ingots, lubricant, and two lead. Not a problem. I've got the lead. I think I have the lubricant. Getting the titanium ingots, not a major issue. But before we go that far... Uh, thermal plants. We got the plants for that. We also... I'm sure... There it is. Bioreactor. Three titanium wiring kit and lubricant. We'll start off with the bioreactor, because that is actually the whole point to having the uh, fruit trees down the end. They're actually there, not so much to feed me, but they are a convenient source of fuel supply for a bioreactor to keep it up and running, and I do want power running into this place once I start putting things like the moon pool on it. Um, da, 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 so we don't have the lubricant after all, so I'm going to have to go and make that, which is not a major issue, because the lubricant is just the Creepvine Sea Clusters. Alright. Wiring kit. Uh, it'll be electronics. Wiring kit. Two silver ore. I think I have that. I don't really want to go finding silver ore next, so please have it. Lithium salt. We've got the lead, so that's fine. There's one silver ore. Oh, I'm not going to have two silver ore, am I? God damn it. <sighs> now I've got to go find silver ore. Alright, well before we go and do that, let's see what else we actually need. 
Um, so I need the creep vine seat clusters to make the lubricant. I need one piece of silver for the wiring kit, and then we're good for the bioreactor. Um, I will need the power. I will need to start building some battery charges, but I'll do that once I've got the bioreactor up and running. A um, whole bunch of internal stuff. Don't need to worry about that. So we need two sets of lubricant, and the titanium ingots are just ten titanium. So. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's go farming. Let's park this one here for just a second. Ah, where is my knife? Two. I want to say three. Yeah, I think it's two units each for lubricant. And we need two sets of lubricant. Curious on how I play Warfinder, yet yeah, with hands is generally the right answer. I still play mouse and keyboard, if that's what you're wondering, for the most part. It's not a game where I'm really concerned about trying to play it with the joystick, I just don't see the point. I don't even really spend any time in Warfinder simulator battles anymore either. Get out of here. Now, I see an opportunity. Gotcha. Not only did that make me feel good, now I have to scan for the sand shark as well. Welcome aboard, Captain. Clearly that was it. Apparently it thought there was a window being constructed in here. A reliable power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. <laughs> I love this computer. Alright, four of those. Two, three, and four. And there we go, bioreactor powered up. And now generating power. Right, next thing to do. Uh, we'll get the egg as well. Although I think we're running out of space. We might have to build some more storage in here after all if we're going to keep going like this. Ah, resources basic. Start turning all of our uh, titanium over. Got us one ingot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Which will get us our second ingot. Alright, now just need the lead, which I have 
plenty of, so that's not a problem. Let's go build the moon pool. Now we'll build the moon pool. Should probably build two. We'll, yeah, we'll build them each uh, off each side of the bioreactor here. We only need one urgently, so we'll just focus on one for the moment. If it's going to actually let us build out here, I don't think it's going to. No, because it's going to cut through there if we do. Alright. All right, it's going to let us build out this side, maybe. probably going to want a tunnel first. The building used to be a lot easier. They used to, they played around with the uh, the building at some point, and I'm not entirely sure what they've done, but I don't particularly like it. My two glass are clear. No, we just built titanium. I'm building this as a cheap base. This isn't going to be the, uh, the good one. Although I have the glass for it. Yeah, actually, no, let's go with the glass after all. because it'll look good in this point. Um, just doesn't seem like it's... Is that actually going to connect or not? Yes, apparently it will. Okay. So that's that one sorted out. That will bring... Welcome aboard, Captain. Prawn suit over first. Oh, we have to land you first. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Well, I would, but there's no soccer balls available. Alright, so that is our prawn suit locked into its bait. Whoa, what the hell? Why? Why did you suddenly take damage? Hmm. Damage here too. Something's having a shot at my base. Ah, oh, of course. Yes, 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 yes. I know what the go is. Yes, nothing's attacking. Yeah, I know what the problem is. Alright, 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 alright. I can fix this. Ah! Get into the... Ah, get into the holster. Wait for it to recharge. 
course, I didn't even think about the base durability. Alright. I can fix this. Uh oh. Yeah, this place is a better. Um, alright. Seek fluid intake. Interior modules. Oh, I have bigger problems than that at the moment. One, two, three. Let's put a bulkhead right there. Base strength is now 0 0.5. All right. So now it's not going to fall apart. Now we're going to weld it all back together. At least the plants are watered. Repair. Ah, oh, power source is out. Try that. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Is that one fixed? Bulkhead into the other side. Alright, so I'm probably going to have to do some uh, do some strengthening to the base before we go much further with this idea. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Alright, that's better. Much better. Just making sure there's still no holes anywhere. Now, problem solving level, NBN. No, I'm better than the NBN. I actually fixed the problem and did it in a reasonable amount of time before everything broke. I'm going to build the modification station on this side because I'm probably going to expand the base and the others to the other side. About there. Alright, so at this point we can now actually go to Prawn Suit Modules and see what the hell the grapple arm is going to cost us. Prawn Suit Propulsion Cannon, that is fun. Uh, prawn Suit Jump Jet Upgrade, 2 Nickel Ore, Crystalline Sulphur, Titanium and Lithium. There's at least two things there I don't know how to get. Prawn Suit Thermal Reactor Upgrade, Exosuit Depth Module. Common, Storage, Engine Efficiency and Hull Reinforcement. Hey, Yuin, thank you for the subscription. Seamoth Torpedo, Perimeter Defense, Seamoth... Okay. Um, the grappling arm isn't here, which means I need to find the plans for it, and I don't know where the plans are, so that goes that idea for the day. We've got everything we need for it, and this is where we build it, but the plans should be here. And at least, the very least, what we can do now. Base colour. I want to find a nice yellow in there somewhere. Uh, the name should be white. Uh, it's the interior, should probably be in the yellow as well. The yellow is the best colour I found to put it. It's actually the uh, the same colour they uh, paint proper uh, DSVs. And the reason is that in the darkest depths of the ocean, the yellow actually stands out against the blue, so you can see where the bloody thing's parked, where other colours will actually blend. So, that's better. Red and yellow. 
Okay, so I'm not going to get the module I actually want on that thing. At this point, may as well build a second station. So, what are we going to do here? We want a standard compartment. It's going to be two titanium because we do need a gap in between the two. Then we need one lubricant and two lead. So we need 15 titanium. And there's my two lead and my one lubricant. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose I better eat. That's alright, I got one of these nutrient blocks I picked up from Aurora, so that solves the problem there. So that's ten, that's one titanium, my uh, one titanium ingot, so I just need ten more. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, actually, before we go anywhere on that. make one titanium ingot to begin with and that'll solve the uh, the infantry space issue much better at least after all this I'm gonna have room to store these eggs until I can find the damn fish tank and actually start putting them in there and hatching them and find out what I've got I'm still yet to find the early access reward there's a special egg that's only spawned into the game for people that were that have bought the game on early access and it's got this cute little octopus pet you can have that follows you around everywhere. But um, I've never managed to find the egg for it. I have no idea where you'd even find the egg for it. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another four. Don't need the sea glide, but if we scan the sea glide, we get another two. So now we just need one more chunk of the Aurora's hull, which is right there, and we are good. To... No, we're not. We need two pieces. Because I need the extra piece to build the gap in between the existing moon pool and the new moon pool. But that's easy enough. And don't fart on my sea moth. You know, if the fish actually chose to swim into the reactor and keep fueling it themselves, I actually wouldn't complain. It would be perfectly fine. But uh, I don't think that's what they've got in mind. I might open the door up for names tomorrow. We'll uh, come up with a name for the prawn suit and a name for the seamoth. First, we need to process these. It's starting to get a little to the late side, so I'm probably going to be bringing this stream to a close after we finish off the uh, the next moon pool, because we've got nearly everything else done. Minus 5, now at 3.5. We're good, we're gold, the base is safe. Awesome. So now I can come over here, and the bonus for building these is why the prawn suit and the sea moth are parked in them, the batteries automatically get recharged. And there we go. All good. Now I don't need to worry about another modification station. One modification station is enough. If I need to make any mods to the Seamoth, I can just swap these over. But that, that's a reasonable expansion to the base, I think. Put another reinforcement on the walls over here, a couple of windows, and this base will be looking pretty good. 
So, the next stream I do on Subnautica, I'll be looking for that prawn suit arm, so we can uh, get the grappling arm done and the resources I need for the thruster upgrade, at which point we can throw the, uh, throw the prawn suit over a cliff and be done with it. And, uh, yeah, go, go into all the deep spots in the game and actually have a little bit of a look around, gather some resources. Um, this base here... You know, I've put a little bit of extra work into it now, so I'll probably finish it off, grab some uh, grab some quartz to build some windows and a few other things, but that will really be it, I think. Start gathering resources for the next base. The only question, of course, is exactly where I'm going to build the next base, which we will sort out then. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the stream, and thank you very much for watching. Um, again, I will probably be streaming again in the next couple of days. I'm not entirely sure what it will be, as my schedule is kind of out the window at this moment. But anyways, I will let everybody know on social media when I do. So, until next time, take care, guys.